o conhecimento da verdade liberta. My phone rings and it's Dr. William Thompson. You and I don't know each other very well. You have a son with autism and I have great shame now. There's a whistleblower from the CDC who's going to come out and say that the CDC had committed fraud on the MMR study and that they knew that vaccines were actually causing autism. My oldest son, Ian, was walking and running. After the vaccine, he was no longer able to do that. So I called the clinic and I said, I think my child's had adverse reaction to those shots. And then came the head bang constant banging against anything that he could find. Right now, I'm sitting in a very pretty position in terms of providing you a lot of information. The first thing that Thompson did was to plot a graph. Now, if there's no link between early MMR and autism, those two lines should track together. Now, they do track together until they get to 15 months. Then they separate and they continue to separate thereafter. And they sliced and diced the data in an effort to get rid of that effect. The relative risk of receiving an autism diagnosis was astronomical. Wow. The CDC had known all along there was this MMR autism risk. In CDC's judgment, the best public policy is to continue vaccination unchanged. You who run our health agencies in this country, you have an obligation to make sure that these studies are complete, thorough, so that we have all the facts. Oh my God, I cannot believe we did what we did, um, but we did. Omission of crucial data, destruction of documents, misleading the Congress, grievous harm to innocent children. Everything I've been telling my patients for the last 10 years has been based on a lie and a cover-up. Parents should be able to count on federal agencies to tell them the truth. In 1978, the prevalence of autism was about 1 in 15,000 children. If we assume that things are going to continue as they have, we can predict that by 2032, 80% of the boys born will end up on the autism spectrum. Half the children, 80% of the boys. It's a vast number of children who are being diagnosed with autism every day. This is going to be a complete catastrophe if we just let it happen.